So this is just going to be a very quick video today. Uh, NixOS 2405 has just been released, so we're going to go over just the basics of what to do for upgrading. There's basically two ways to do it, but before you do either of them, you should always read the release notes. There's a lot of really useful stuff in here, so we'll check the release manual. And the highlights just kind of go over the major versions that have changed, and that's helpful. New services, just new services you can add, but where you really want to take a look because if you're running any important services on your machine, you want to check the backwards incompatibilities because there will be things that have changed. Um, sometimes it's options that have changed. Sometimes, you know, just versions are no longer compatible with previous versions. Like sometimes when you update a database, it, you have to update all your tables because it won't be compatible with the previous layout of the database. Sometimes services in NixOS, when they're added, they don't have the full configuration through the next configuration of conf so you'd use the applications configuration files and then you know next version everything's moved into the next config so your configs keep getting overwritten so very carefully go through here and check that out that's the most important part before doing your upgrades and then to do the upgrade there's really two ways to do it if you're using channels All you have to do is nix channel dash dash add and then you're gonna go first part's the same then you go 24.05 and then nix os oops you do have to type the url in correctly that's very important so now and you can update the channel oh a little bit of a typo there, 24.05. Then we're going to update our channel. And while that one's updating, we'll take a look at the other way. And that's if you're using flakes. And it's essentially the same thing. We're just going to be changing our input right there. Okay, so we're going to NixOS, rebuild. Switch. Next flake. And we're going to update our next flake and it's going to pull in the packages from the 24.05 release. And here you'll see some options that have changed as you go. Like if you see red text popping up, it generally means something has changed from this version the previous version. Most of the time you don't have to do much about it. There we go, the system's rebuilding under the new NixOS 24.05. There we go. There we go, that's right. So now we're rebuilding this one and the flake I'm using is actually built for this machine over here. So that's why I have to specify the name because this one's named two and we're using the flake configuration that's set up for one. And this is gonna take longer than your typical rebuild because it's gonna replace pretty much everything. And there we go, same red text, same error, saying these things have been changed. There we go. 
Now this system over here is running 24.05. Now there is one thing in the configuration, the system state version. This is typically used when there's versioning compatibilities between one notable one would be like uh, Postgres. When you upgrade it, sometimes there's been times where the database format has changed and by upgrading it, you would break it. So most of the time you can just change it after. You should read the release notes to see if you should or shouldn't, but generally speaking, I do, and it's rarely caused an issue, except for in very specific cases with, for me, it's only ever happened with PostgreSQL. And that's it. Now, if for, it, for some reason something has gone wrong at this point, it's not a big deal. NixOS, because of the way generations work, all you have to do is reboot your system, and then at the grub menu that comes up or the system deboot menu, you'll see your list of generations. And you just pick the previous one, boot up in that, and you're all good. All you have to do is change your channel back to the way it was and do another rebuild and you should be back on track.